Rumors are that allegedly Bravo has a secret plan for Portia. What is that plan? And can it work? I have some new information that may answer those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you will know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, Kim folk. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly... Bravo has a secret plan for Portia. What is that plan? And can it work? I have some new information that may answer those questions and more. And here it goes. Kenfolk, let me read to you what my sources are saying about this particular rumor. Sources are alleging that Bravo has a secret plan for Portia and her series. With new drama from Nini in the form of racial lawsuits, many people believe that Bravo may be ready to change the story. A person close to the situation said, Bravo most likely would try to make a forward play away from creating another Nini situation with Portia. Allegedly, Bravo feels that Portia has a little bit more marketable miles on her and on her name. And if played correctly, she could win and it could be a win-win for both parties. Sources believe that this alleged secret plan could work if they are able to get Portia on board. So Kimfolk, I know you guys are wondering, what is this alleged secret plan? And will Portia buy into it? Allegedly, the network will push to create several ironclad clauses in Portia's next contract if her spinoff is renewed. Sources think that these clauses could include some safeguards in, in regards to Portia's behavior, storyline plots, and promotion for her show. Sources also say that a deal is allegedly being finished However, it's not clear if it, be, if it will be one Portia will accept. Now, Kimfo, uh, you know, right now, I told you guys a couple of weeks back, right now is the crunch time for Portia and her team trying to get a spinoff deal secured because, as you know, Portia's spinoff tends to uh, film late summer, early fall. And right now is around the time when we got word that Portia was getting a new spinoff. So these rumors popping up, it's not surprising, but as always, we're gonna take which parts of the rumor could be factual and which parts of the rumor could be um, false. Now, right off the bat, I think part of the rumor that could be factual is uh, the part that it says where, you know, Bravo wants to move away from this whole Nini racial lawsuit situation and change the story. And what more better way would it be to change the story than to announce a potential new season of Portia spinoff? Also, in announcing a new spinoff, Bravo could package up Portia's second season as something being more inspirational, something being more um, acceptable, and something being a, a complete transformation of who we thought she was to portray a, a successful, young, successful black woman in a positive light. Doing so could really help uh, combat some of these claims that Nene is making, I feel like. Also, with this new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, we have been told it's going to uh, feature more sisterhood moments and more positive moments seeing uh, black women come together and being friends. And so that part of rumor I could see, I can see as being factual that Bravo will try to move away from this narrative that Nini has created. And they're probably going to do so by just revamping how they present uh, women of color on their network. Um, the second part of this rumor that I could see as being factual is the fact that, um, you know, Bravo probably does not want to create another Portia, I mean, another, another Nini with Portia. 
And what I mean by that is this. Bravo, um, with their mistake with Nene, was giving her too much control. Giving her too much input on what, how things went on set with the ladies of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, there have been many rumors, and Nene's even said this herself, um, that, you know, allegedly Bravo went to Nene um, about, you know, different castmates and what's going on. And there have also been rumors that allegedly Bravo, you know, sought after Nene's um, um, input. And her viewpoint on certain housewives, if they should stay, if they should go, or if they should be friends of the shows, or they sh if they should be housewives. So, in giving Nene a lot of control over a lot of things, it kind of did create this monster who felt like they had no safeguard, had no uh, guardrails, and they could do pretty much whatever they wanted to do. Because for so long, they were getting rewarded for it. And so, with Portia, I do kind of see how Bravo probably could want to put some more safeguards and safe rails in play. Uh, to make sure that Portia pretty much stays on a narrow path. Now, some people might think that it's kind of like, you know, um, holding her hostage or, you know, trying to use her as a puppet. But for Portia, it could be a good thing. I mean, as we all have seen, Portia is not the best with, you know, maintaining a storyline or presenting a consistent image in front of the cameras. And so, by Bravo allegedly putting guardrails on um, Portia... In order to not create another another Nene situation, it's kind of smart for both parties. Um, another thing uh, that I could probably see as being factual is the part of the rumor where they say that um, Bravo is going to allegedly put more uh, guardrails or more ironclad clauses into Portia's next contract if her series is renewed. You know, that's very important because, you know, a lot of people were noticing that Portia did not do any PR for the last uh, season of her spinoff. Um, there were also tweets about how Portia allegedly didn't feel like she was being shown in the best light and how she refused to tell people to watch and, and how she didn't really give her best, put her best foot forward to uh, market the series. So I could see them probably putting in her contract a new ironclad clause that's saying that you have to um, promote the new season of the show if it's renewed. Another part of the room that I can kind of see as factual is that in the ironclad clauses that allegedly, you know, making Portia stick to a certain storyline, again, which would be best for her? Because we've seen how um, difficult it was for her to stay in on one subject, on one storyline, and see that storyline through. And when she's not doing that, we get this cluster of just drama that if we don't know how to storyline it, it just spins out of control. And we saw that happen with Dennis and Portia's cousin, um, Stor uh, Stormy. And uh, Kim, folk, the last part about this rumor that I can kind of see as um, being a factual is that, you know, Bravo is... Um, beginning to finalize a deal to present to Portia. That is kind of factual uh, because, you know, it's getting that time. And I think that the part that I don't believe is kind of factual is that Portia being on the fence whether to accept the deal or not. I think at this point, um, if Bravo is finishing up her deal, uh, which, which, whatever's in that deal, I do feel like Portia is going to uh, ultimately go along with it. I think that it's going to be, um, you know, lucrative enough for her. I do think she's not. I do think she's not holding all the cards. Um, I do think that Bravo is holding the majority of the cards. But as the rumor says, they still think that Portia is somewhat markable and still have some markable miles on her. So they will probably give her a decent deal, in one in which I think Portia will will accept if you know presented to her. But careful, I want to know what you guys think about this rumor. Do you think that this new alleged secret plan by Bravo to um, keep the guardrails on Portia if her uh, series is renewed is going to work? Or do you think Portia is just too uncontrollable to put guardrails on and that she actually performs best when she's just out there freely doing Portia? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright, Kim folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I see you guys over on the next one. Peace.